This is First Alert Weather. Well, we're taking a live look right now here at our Concordia camera where 53 degrees is that current temperature. A little on the cooler side here uh, in some of our western communities. A bit of a difference exists with those temperatures today as we do have some colder air moving through. North winds at 18 miles per hour. It's a bit breezy, but it doesn't feel any colder here in Concordia. That's because the dew point of 45 degrees is pretty high, almost close to that actual temperature, and that has given us a lot of cloud cover all throughout the area. A lot of high dew points or relatively high dew points throughout the region, especially further out west that has uh, continued these overcast skies here into this afternoon, even though in all likelihood we're not going to see any rain out of these clouds here. Live storm tracker showing dry skies right now. Maybe we have a few sprinkles or two move through the area over the course of the next few hours, but uh, as for thunderstorms, I think that chance is extremely low. We should be seeing that calmer weather here all throughout the next several days. We'll take a quick look here at the storm reports from yesterday just to sort of recap here how we uh, saw those events unfold last night. Multiple confirmations here of tornadoes throughout Wabunsee County and then clipping here into northwestern Shawnee County. Again, Topeka really missed out on virtually everything last night, but we did have uh, some close calls here with those storms and uh, uh, you can see the path of that storm that dropped all of those tornadoes. It was just one singular storm that did that as well as a lot of reports here of large hail as those storms moved from the southwest here up to the northeast and uh, definitely caused quite a bit of damage in some areas. I don't think we had that tornado or any of those extremely large hail uh, reports within our most populated areas, but there definitely was some damage. I know the National Weather Service is out there today surveying and uh, going to report back to uh, uh, themselves and us soon here on what the rating and what the overall damage of those storms were. And we still have severe weather today to our southeast, not that far. It looks like we're having some very strong storms move through Missouri right now and a very very large tornado watch that goes from Indiana all the way down into Oklahoma. So we're seeing a continuation of that here away from us. Nothing that will affect us. Some north or sorry, some southeast Kansas counties have that warning in effect, but uh, I, or watch in effect right now. But I don't think we're going to get any here. We should be dry over the next several days. You might see a little bit of thunder and lightning out towards the east far away, but nothing that would be coming here. 41 degrees for tonight, a little bit gusty as clouds should start to clear out late. 61 for tomorrow. Tomorrow. We should be mainly sunny and then heading into this weekend. It looks like we're a lot drier and calmer for the next several days. And not too bad for all of those St. Patrick's festivities happening on 